What is an owl pellet? Well, you can see here on the table, I've got a variety of pellets, but well, how is a pellet formed? The answer is that birds of prey, generally all the owls and many other kind of birds, swallow things that they can't digest. So typically a barn owl will swallow prey whole, small mammals will go down head first, they are digested, but the hair and the bone is left in the stomach, and typically after one night's feeding, there might be the hair and bone from perhaps four small mammals. The stomach forms this into a pellet, which then gradually comes up and out of the beak. It's regurgitated. So it's a pellet, it's not faeces. When you find something you think is an owl pellet, just pick one up and see if it smells. If it does smell, believe me, it's not an owl pellet. You need to go and wash your hands. So, you found a pellet. Next thing to think about is, well, what species of bird might have produced this? Remember, all the birds of prey, all the owls, all the crow family birds, even herons and kingfishers, loads of birds produce pellets. So we need to have a closer look. You look at the pellet and you can see perhaps that there's insect remains, little shiny dark blue, black, brown bits on the outside. Tawny owls, little owls and kestrels, they produce pellets with insect remains on the outside, but barn owl pellets almost never have insect remains on the outside. So check for insects, look at the colour of the pellet. If the tawny owl, the kestrel or the little owl has eaten a lot of earthworms, the pellets will tend to look brown and they'll be quite dense, they'll be quite heavy for their size. Barn owl pellets are never brown and almost never have insect remains. Let's say you've found some barn owl pellets, you've got a collection of pellets in front of you, you might realise that they actually have an age range. Some of them look, look much darker and some of them are actually starting to fall apart. And with practice, you can actually work out how long a period the barn owls have been present for by looking at the age range of the pellets. When you're out looking for pellets, just be aware that breeding barn owls are protected against disturbance. They're probably nesting quite high above the ground. So as long as you're just collecting pellets from the ground or from the floor, then the chance of you disturbing breeding birds is very, very small. Now you're ready to analyse the pellet. This means finding out what the owls have been eating. Amazing, you're revealing kind of secrets. Oh, look, straight away there, look. I can see a lower jaw from a field bowl. That is a left-hand side jaw, fantastic. Now, some people say that you should soak the pellets for 48 hours in water and pull them apart with tweezers. Personally, I prefer to do them dry. Oh, look. Now there is another lower jawbone, and you can see that actually that's the right hand one. There's a pair. The best way to find out what the owls have been eating is to find all the lower jaw bones, because they're the easiest bits to identify, and then pair up the left and right sides. So you make your lower jaws into pairs, and then you just count. In a pellet that big, you'll probably have the remains of four small mammals, or if they've been eating small ones like shrews, you might even have eight or nine in one pellet. If you want to have a go at this yourself, and it is fascinating, why not have a look at the slideshow on the website? Mm -hmm.